Greetings, everybody. Thank you for coming back with me for a part three today, uh, early on Friday. I gotta get it out now. Pretty much do the next couple hours here, try to get the, as much as I can of it finished. And then I've gotta bounce off to do a couple last little house cleaning things and get prepped for D&D. And then after D&D, I will be back with some FPS Friday. That's gonna be late, probably, though. Um, it is currently about 12.30 p.m. for me. I wouldn't expect to be going live for the FPS Friday stuff till technically Saturday, but it's gonna be FPS Friday content because I gotta catch it up. Um, But yeah, I would imagine I'm probably not going to be going live with that until technically Saturday, because it'll be probably almost 12 hours from now uh, before we have D&D &D wrapped up, because, you know, got a couple hours doing this, a couple hours before we start D&D, &D, and dinner everything in the middle. Ah, suddenly no itchy. <laughs> well, thank you everybody for coming. I'm going to switch over to the gameplay tab here. And we're going to jump in to start building. Uh, I do believe I need to go grab more stone to finish the plinth. And then I have a fair amount of wood and tar there to start with the build. For the actual Gadara statue. Just going to figure out how the fuck I'm doing it. I have rough ideas. Like a lot of things, this is going to be kind of trial and error. Yeah, I've got the outer, well, almost the outer rim. <laughs> outer rim. Star Wars reference. Setting good to go, but yeah. Right. Let's go into the forest. First, though, before we go crazy and do that, we're gonna. I'm just gonna go sit on the plinth base for the moment, and we're gonna have a quick boo. And I mean, literally sit. <sighs> kind of sit and take in the ambiance. Yeah, honestly, as cool as the idea for the Temple of Fire was, I think that was always just kind of a placeholder for this. Truth be told. Because when I started Odheim, it wasn't super long ago. That's when Chunk had Anixia, had her first little bit of... She scared us a little bit because she was, had lost weight and was kind of lethargic and sick looking. She bounced back from that. And it wasn't as bad as the other day. She said the other day when I looked at her, when I went to go do stuff in the kitchen, I just went, hey, you know, give the kitty some love. And I looked at her and I knew immediately. I knew it was the day. I wasn't ready for it, but I had to be as ready as I could be. And like I said, I wasn't gonna, like I said the, well, yesterday too again, like I wasn't gonna not be there for her. I felt bad enough that, you know, I, once I kind of realized that I put her down as gently as I could and went and sat down here and had a smoke for a couple minutes trying to just like organize my fucking head out, I felt bad about leaving her kind of awkwardly flopped in the fucking cat bed there. And I came back and I got her afterwards and was holding her and shit before we left, but. I needed a minute to fucking sort my head out because I was not ready for that. You know, just coming out of being in a re kind of a shit mental space. Working it better and then my cat's dying.
me, sorry. Um, okay, so I'm going to want a decent chunk to be able to finish that up. And then we work on the body stuff. Trying to figure I'm trying to again, like I said, Jenga pieces in my head for what I have to work with to get the right look. I mean before having to fuck with them actually. I'm trying to Jenga the pieces in my head and see, uh, okay, if I put this here and this here, it'll get the idea I'm going for. But it's a little bit of kinda of back and forth. Trying to figure out how to get cat shape. Got, I mean, at least I don't have to worry about farming a fuck ton of materials for that. I've got a good amount to start it. I may need to go farm some more later to put finishing touches on. But I gotta go grab Zistern. Finish off the basic plinth. I've been systematically kind of destroying some of the big boulders as I go through the forest too, so I gotta try to remember. I think I'm gonna wanna head over like this way. Because I haven't gotten any of those ones yet. I do have that. So we'll activate the power of Ikthia. That's how it is. And again, mind maybe tapping a couple fur trees while I'm over there, see if I can get some more coons. Uh, there, that's about the best spot. Hurrah! It has the best little dip there. Easy to grab. Come here, you fuck. Come on. PvP, bitch. Mayor. Hey, you. Not fluffy. Mayor. Punch. Little shit. Huh? You don't have any friends. Nobody likes you. Running, running, and running, running, and... Oh, shit. Eat a foods! Useful. Helpful. Um, sunken ship. Get you later. Kind of want to leave some of those for, you know, not pop some of them. So that they're there. People want to kind of join on Jarl's Island. There's a little bit of things left for them to just do that isn't just pre made, quote unquote. No, fuck off! I am trying to walk along and give an explanation. How dare you interrupt me! Fuck you, little bastard. I'll take your resin. Your lifeblood, and I will use it to light my settlements. It's like the epitome of the, how I feel the same. Fuck you, forest child. I use your lifeblood to illuminate my settlements.
Okay, now we look for a big stun. Like a not that's fairly big, but like a I mean big big. Like one of those. Like it looks like it could be a copper deposit until you get closer and don't and don't see the little shiny things. Stone. <laughs> Shiny things, i.e. like metallic squiggly bits. That lets you know, yes, that is indeed a copper deposit. Ghosty, how you doing? Thanks for popping in. Who fighting over there? No third strike? What were you hitting? Oh, there's a third strike. Okay, you killed something, but there was no death noise, there was no actual response to it, just a very disjointed three wet chops, and then it died. What did he kill? I, I gotta know. What did he kill? It was a great dwarf? But there, I didn't hear any return strikes, any of its noises. They're pretty fucking loud. Yeah, here, right here. Like, this is what I want. Zish big stone. This is exactly what I want. We're gonna go back to just hang it out here for a moment. But that's, like, exactly what I want. Big old stone like that. <sighs> Probably give me more than enough to finish the plinth off. Again, doing some logistic Tetris in my head for how I'm going to build the actual Qatar. Now, it is going to have to, again, just, it will come down to playing with it a little bit and having to adjust as I'm fucking with it and going, okay, wait, that's not quite working. But. Just so I have some rough idea of a direction to try to start with it, I want to, like, try to noodle that. I think, I think I've got an idea. Shit weird. Hey, come on. Okay. Put that up for the moment. Set out. Like, fuck off. I want you to go out, light a smoke, get to work on this fucking big hunk of stone. Should give me everything I need to finish the plinth off. Because it's just the uh, little two spot double stack, and then. <clears throat> well, technically the middle, right? I think I still need to double stack most of that. We need to go take another one. I don't know. These end up being pretty good. Oh, 
else at this, uh, normally probably won't see me do the hop over to grab stuff or move stuff to Stigisgard or Jorgenheim as much, but this is kind of a special event set up where you know, drop everything to do Kitty Memorial. Hi! Oh, fucking now you're talking double team supreme. Ooh, yeah, is that a that's a two star skelly boy? Mirror, sir. How would you rumble with your age old enemies? Hey, look, that's a one star. It's somewhat of an even challenge. Go, guys, go. Ooh, no, it's not. He just fucked that. Yeah, two shot that boy. Ooh, that hurt. Legitimately. <laughs> okay, fuck your book parries, dude. I hate these things. Get out of here. I didn't know! Wrong button! Fuck! Murloc noises. Wrong time to hit that. I was trying to throw it and I accidentally right clicked. <laughs> Wrong button. I didn't want it. Alright, we have to wait a minute for my health to come back before I start making more noise, just so I can take any <clears throat> sort of heat that brings. Because I accidentally ate the fucking puke berries. Switching. Maybe not. This is a little shallow. Might not give me the as much rock as I want here. I want a rock. Bruh. Excuse you. How food? Out of here. Heard that. I think it was just a deer, though. All right, come on, fuckers. down, so I've got them in nice little organized piles and shit. There's just fucking mishmash everywhere. Well, so far 150 out of us. That's not terrible. Definitely could have been worse. My shirt's got a little fucking lump in the back. It's annoying me. I'm going to straighten it out. Thank you. That's better. Uh... 
Yeah, yeah, I hear you out there. <clears throat> Ow. Fucking poke myself in the eye. Goddamn weed bag. Hey! Don't you throw rocks at my anus! I win, you lose. That looked sort of like a rock, so I want to double check it. I look like a rock! And get out of here with your fucking. I don't want these! I don't want them! I missed a chunk of rock. Break, please. Break, please. Thank you. I've got a thing with that actually has the map for the entirety of the uh, the thing set out, so I can kind of plan ahead. I had an idea for planning off of going off of here based on what's close to it in certain areas, kind of carry themes over. Yeah, could be all of them. Okay, be mix, whatever. Oakley Toakley, so yeah, we've got a nice little island cluster in the forest area here. Oops. There I am. <laughs> I was like, oh, where's the tab? Where's the tab? Find it. Thank you. Sir. No. Alright, so... 200... 300? I got another... Yep. Yeah, 300 out of it. That's not bad. At least 300. That may be enough to finish it. I'm gonna try working with that much to be able to finish it first before I go for anything. Oh! Extra strike into the land here. And go back to being grass. Land cleanup. I have weird, just smacked patches. Dandelion. Okay. Don't want you. Don't want you. Uh, I can deal without that. Could I take that? 
Okay, that's pretty much full up. So I've got another 200 there. <laughs> Hook in the right direction here. Those are staying there because this is going to be a future project to develop alongside that. Kind of trying to wrap the outside a little bit first. And then, obviously, you know, had a lot of that shoved on to hold for a bit doing this. Like there's an eyelash sitting there and poking me, but I can't quite get it. Where are you? Oh, I got something out of there. Well, an eyelash, but I pulled something out. This way. What's the matter with you? <laughs> Why? How would you just be like, you know what? I'm gonna be different. Uh! <laughs> Shove itself out. <sighs> yeah, so I've definitely got enough to finish it. Shit. 200? I do. Just barely what I do. Let's pop this back up. I didn't mark it. Somewhere under blue tusk there, I know that. <laughs> I was like, fuck, I forgot to mark exactly where it was, so I'm going to be uh, doing a little forest wandering, looking for some piles of rock. I realized that I was coming back up, but I don't know. Is 
well. No, I have to fucking like scoop it and at least make the uh, loop of the thing. So you know, hey, maybe we'll do that at some point to finish up. We'll just do a little like boat loop and uh, pencil in the islands. I'm heading the wrong way up now. I'm gonna do a little fishing anyway. Okay. Um. Scoot through this channel area here. Nice little uh, meadow channel. Whoop. Okay, I remember seeing that coming out. It's roughly. Should. Yeah, I see him. I see the stone piles. So, roughly should be here. Okay, this time, because I don't think we're going to be able to grab all four of those, I'm going to mark it. Be intelligent about that. Yeah, well. No actual name, just a marker to be like, hey, it's there. <sighs> yeah, it won't let me get the other one, so. Let's take this back. Rebounded off his face. Yeah, thank you. How you doing? Right, bring this back. Yes. I make custom shoutouts for people. This is what I do. I've got to make a couple more, actually, for some people I have networked with recently during the hiatus and I'm kind of a little behind on getting things made for them. Scoot down from here without, you know, dying. Yeah, it's not a shot at anybody who just uses generic shoutouts. It's just, it's my thing that I like to do. It's like, uh, I want to give somebody a personal shoutout. Not the only one I've seen do it. I've seen other people have specific... Uh, they both, I've seen people use both. They have, like, generic ones for random people, and then people that are in their, like, close inner circle or their officers they create custom ones for, but... They're mods, excuse me. Alright, right now we are just finishing off the base plinth. <laughs> And then I have most of the other materials set here to try and, uh, yeah. To try and do, start setting up the actual kitty statue itself. This was a, this area was originally going to be something else, but I feel like as cool as the idea for that was, this was kind of already, always actually a placeholder for this. This is a perfect spot. 
It's a very Oni place. She liked to sit up and just kind of like curl up and just observe things from on high. So I got the base shape of the plinth. The kitty body's gonna go here and the tail's gonna curl around and wrap back up over there. Come on, lighter, what the fuck? Do your job, man. And here makes sense too, because it's close to the more of the main settlement part of Yarl's Island. Right? Um, actually, I am going to check about, looks like it's getting towards the afternoon, so I will do a sleepy thing. Progress the day. This is pretty much all the stuff that you're looking at, I built and customized. Some of the trees are natural, but like the pines and shit like that out here, and a lot of the other ones, they're not. I planted them to diversify and bring the biome together. Yeah, might as well do it. Uh, I got nothing to cook. Check my fires. oven there are some aggressively difficult spots in this but like it makes sense for a lot of it i've been enjoying subnautica too but there's a couple things that irk me a bit in the design philosophy of subnautica i have been wanting to like do the kind of this what i've been doing this where i play it off like i do a secondary one that's off stream in a secondary uh world but i don't want to advance anything or learn anything because I started as an on-stream first-time experience thing so I kind of want to get through that actual playthrough before I do just like whatever personal ones that'll be tomorrow by the way uh, we'll be having some more uh, Subnautica Subnautica Saturday There's parts where, like, I do appreciate the design, and then there's other parts that just piss me off. It's like, okay, I get you were going for a bit of a different feel, but at the same time, giant fucking sea monsters, and realistically, hi, Molly, the only weapon I've gotten for a long-ass time has been a knife? I, I kind of have a joke fucking thing to do now that's been a challenge thrown by Mal's, where I'm gonna have to try to fight a Reaper with a knife. It's not gonna go well. I'm gonna do it. Because I have killed a Stalker and a Sand Shark in a knife fight. And then I was, uh... <laughs> Mal's raided over yesterday, and I found him from just searching who is uh, streaming Valheim. I found a couple people that way just to check out who else is playing it and like to see what their builds are like and things like that that they're doing. So he brought his community over, and him and uh, his chief mod, who's playing with him all the time, they're looking at my shit going, Oh, we're taking notes! <laughs> I mean, I, not that I know everything, but when you've put almost... 3,000 hours into the game, you've tried a fair amount of things and figured some stuff out. <laughs> I do know some things. Like, 
you know, my fancy stead here. Oh, cool! I, did, I didn't see the notification things pop up, but that's that's good. I, I don't know. Twitch has been just a little fucky lately. This is the boathouse I built recently. You know? I where when I did my uh, celebratory, like I'm coming back to streaming after the couple testers, just getting a hang of the new programming and getting kind of back into the groove. Bionic was there. I was he was in the stream, but he literally sent me a screenshot of looking at his Twitch live page and it didn't fucking show me. <sighs> yeah. Alright. Gonna drop that resin over on the other server so you guys get to see my one of my other builds my personal server for this guy where he's kind of just island bound in the one place and i'm just farming the great orf raids there is no progress on oddheim because it is all about the builds so we're just farming the free meat raid pretty much and that way i mean the great ores aren't too bad but that way it's just you don't have to worry about anything fucking with your build it's not a progress realm it's a build realm that's kind of my progress realm stig's guard for my main original main stig Like, personal, secondary progress realm. <sighs> Still, I just, like, I just mean Twitch in general has been fucking weird and doing dumb shit. It's not gonna be the same thing for everybody's channel, it's just... I'm not surprised. Things have been odd. I also had it set up, and what I'm using is the Twitch broadcasting software. I'm using a different sound and animation and uh, GIF for when people sub with Prime. It's one of the options in there to be able to set up. It's not using it. It just uses a regular resub. Or sub thing. It's it's not using the thing I set up. It's, and it's specific. It's not even like it's not communicating because it's a, you know, third-party software. It's some, you know, I'm using OBS or something like that. No, I'm using the Twitch Studio thing. You would think it would kind of handshake with your Twitch better than anything else because it's developed somewhat in house. Apparently not. No, that's not saying I'm I'm absolutely complaining about it or anything. Like this is actually the best streaming software that I've used. It has the most options and it runs the boat the best way. Like I'm. I got nothing at OBS. I'm pretty sure OBS is for full tower setups. I'm on a laptop, by the way. A gaming laptop. It, it does not work for me. I've tried both versions of OBS. No. No bueno. So yeah, he's just bound to this island because I've got a couple different... Got a nice big mountain stretch. Some forest back here and then a nice big meadow area. Yeah, I've gotten nothing but bad out of trying OBS. Everybody keeps... I know everybody uses it and they keep recommending it. It's like, I've tried both OBS and OBS Studio. No. OBS Studio didn't even want to handshake with my Twitch. And the regular OBS only wanted to play one game at an actual stream. I uh, didn't want to cooperate with Diablo 3 on the PC at all. World of Warcraft, it was making it like a painful slideshow. I was using Gamecaster, and that worked well enough, but for some reason, like, it didn't allow uh, yeah. certain things to work properly between, like, it didn't cover capture properly, so I had to, like, time my alt tabs with my scene transition things, or you'd see the alt tab happen. The Twitch one has that covered, where I have, I'm alt tabbing right now, you can't see it. I'm looking at my Discord, you can't see shit. You can't tell, like... It's honestly, like, I... My should've been... It should've... 
my, I laughed always. I was like, the clue is in the first... The clue is in the name of it. It is the first three letters of the word obstinate. The other thing that pisses me off is when I went to look up, like, what was going on. One of uh, the people in one of my communities helpfully just kind of skimmed a thing and threw the, uh... Through the uh, little article at me of like a potential troubleshooting, and I read through it, and nowhere did they admit that maybe there might be a flaw with the program. It's like, literally these the tech pe support people for it are just saying everything else is wrong. And one of the last things is no, I understand the internet is actually fluctuant and it can be weird in the way of like linking up with things. But their last option of what might possibly have been the problem blame the internet. I'm sorry, what are you fucking five? Your program's shit. Go fuck yourself. Or, oh, bullshit, but yeah, no, I just, I laughed, I was like, I should have figured it out. It's literally the first three words of the, three letters of the word obstinate. <sighs> and yeah, it's like, I... I know enough people that use it, and I watch... Oh shit, sorry, OBS crashed. That happens so much. <clears throat> and speaking of punching up, you know, bare bones, like, I'm, that's what part of the thing that I'm trying to do. And thankfully, this is allowing me to do more so here. I'm going to pause. Watch. Like, I have better proper scene transitions here. You know what that wipe is? You know how happy that makes me? That is the wipe from OG fucking Doom! Switching between the screens. That makes me so happy! I tried stream elements too. Um, that was when I did after... Gamecaster took a shit, and I had one, like, I kind of want to try where I was sort of feeling a little bit better, because that was part of the reason that the hiatus happened in the first place. One, Gamecaster took a shit. Two, I got really fucking sick. Like, I have a pretty good immune system. There was some fucking roided out flu going around going into December last year. Like, holy shit, dude. I couldn't keep anything down. After about a week of not being able to do that, being under the covers under like five layers of blankets, shivering uncontrollably, but sweating. Not being able to keep shit down, even water. Like, I ended up having to go to the ER and get an IV for anti-nausea and fluids to get me to fucking straighten out a little bit. I ended up losing about 15 pounds. So that was another reason for the hiatus, is I was fucking not in a good place. Just, blech. But I tried to come back a little bit feeling kind of good on my birthday and we tried stream elements and it had some cool options and had a lot of like I did like that it had they had extra overlay stuff that I could throw in and keep with you know add in more to my themes with it had a lot of rune stuff and some frost around the edges and that and it works with the overall theme but it was really laggy and then yeah I had bad mental space on it too going through stuff and then suddenly it was March and I went fuck man like <laughs> part of the depression thing is I've been having a really bad luck with with work lately and even though this has not been dependable as a paycheck it was kind of the most dependable paycheck so it was suddenly it was March it was like what and like I'm pissed off and like I want to get back to doing it anyways because I feel like it was even as much as I stressed about it because I've got certain perfectionism things about it, like my just my performance and my putting up my art and creativity because every artist is always their own worst critic that this actually helped me with kind of sorting my mental state out because I was felt like I was doing something I was able to connect with people and kind of have a creative outlet and not doing it was so it was all of that together and then just going like I'm also stressed about job but like this is the it's not dependable dependable but this is the most dependable paycheck I've had for the last little while it's fucking March let's fucking do this
you know, and not in any way complaining about it. I had a bunch of people asking, like, man, when are you getting back to streams? Like, I miss your streams. And I was, I'm going, like, I know, I miss my streams too. But sitting there being in a weird mental rut trying to punch myself out of it. And then, right as I'm coming out of it, my cat dies! Uh, thankfully, like, thankfully, I'm kind of helped with that a little bit with with the way that I set up my content and having certain theme type days. Um, and that's one of the reasons why I did that. One, there, it's it fits in with like these are my most commonly played types of games, but it's it also kind of helps me bring along. Yeah. See, that's... Only was about almost 11, I think. Time's gotten a little fuzzy these last couple of years after COVID shit. But... She had a little... Like, she was healthy till... I want to... I think I first noticed it honestly going in around Christmas time is when she first looked a little bit thin and kind of out of it in the first place and wasn't eating much so we switched the food up and we started like giving them gave them a little bit of tuna and started getting them regular wet food a little bit more often and she seemed to perk up and do better and then just yeah the other day I went in to do shit in the kitchen and I went oh you know what huh? I say hi to the chunk and the chunk was not okay and I knew it immediately looking at her. She was worse off than I had ever seen her. And she, when I put her back down, she kind of couldn't hold herself up. And I went, oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I knew. I knew that's what it was. So I felt bad that I kind of left her there in that weird position for about five minutes while I came and sat here and I had a smoke. And a little bit of a bowl to just kind of like not spaz the fuck out about it because I was not ready. But I knew it, that was the day. It was that day. It was her time. And I had to do everything I could to be there for my little kitty. As much as it was absolutely ruining me and I knew it was going to. I knew... Like, I knew the day was going to come at some point in time when I had to say goodbye to my girls. My little fluffy girls, but... I knew it was going to be a fucking wreck when it happened. No, it's it's fine. You're not bringing me down. Like, I... We're in a... You know, it's kind of a morning episode. A morning build thing. It's... I just... The way I... She was thinner than she'd ever been and like was just very glazed and very out of it and very light didn't have much it was like she didn't feel coherent and like I said when I put her down she kind of like flopped and I knew immediately I went fuck it's today she a fighter though she still fought a little bit and tried to like punch through the getting out of it. Came, perked up a little bit when we, you know, ha after Lex came home, you know, mommy here and everything, and tried to make sure every once in a while would come out of it while she's being held. I'd like to look, to look at you and make sure she like looked at you and like, I see you. I, I, I'm still here. I'm still here. And put a little paw out at one point in time. And I knew, I knew when she went to, the doc had to check, but I knew. I heard it. And it was pretty much the instant all of the, everything got into her veins. She didn't fight it. She didn't take a long time. At that was, at that point, like, although she was my little fighter, she was done fighting and she knew. We were all there. We were with her. 
And I was patting her head. And I said, it's okay, baby, you can go. And she just kind of made a little stretch and went, mm. and I knew it. Well, that's what it was, and that's I felt bad because I hadn't quite, you know, I wondered how long she'd been sort of suffering before I noticed her, because what I noticed in the first place when I we went to pick her up, too, was that some of her fur was oddly matted. And I wondered what the fuck happened, and when I put her down, and went to walk away to kind of just chill for a minute, I heard her throw up on herself, and I came back and cleaned her up, and I realized that's what was on her fur, and I, that was, again, it was like... Fuck. So I felt really bad. It was like, how long was she feeling shitty that day before I kind of woke up and then came out of just hanging out over here and talking with people to go do shit? How long was she like that before I noticed her? And then after I had my smoke in here and everything, and I texted the wife, I said, um, how long till you come home? Because I think it's today. And I went back out and I just kind of picked her up and I held her and sat on the, sat on the chair holding her, cuddling her until Lex got home. And same thing as Lex was hoping otherwise, but... As soon as she got in and took a look at her, she knew. We even had them run a preliminary test just just in case. There was some possibility when we got there. But the speed at which they took had us come into the waiting room. And the phrasing that the nurse was using where, you know, I've got her IV. She's on a nice warm blanket because her temperature is a little low. It's the polite way of saying I've made her comfortable. As comfortable as I can. Be prepared. And I was I was pretty much prepped for going, like I said, when I saw her that day. I, I didn't want it to be, but I knew. And as much as I'm going to miss the little derp, I didn't want her to suffer anymore. Kill that now because I put the thing in. Yep. <sighs> oh no! Alright, I'm gonna have to hit one of these stones over here. Didn't have quite enough. You, you're nice and chonky. Come here. Yeah. Uh... <sighs> 
Vikings used to take cats on ships as companion animals. It also helped keep the rats off. <laughs> yeah, that probably would have been Chunk. She used to just, she loved to just lay in boxes and then roll around and ham and then she'd fall off shit constantly. The one time she fell asleep and like rolled off the ta- rolled in the box and rolled off the table and fucking knocked the chair over. Which landed on the hardwood floor with a loud bang and she jumped out like, WHAT THE FUCK HAPPENED?! <laughs> you. You beautiful idiot. <laughs> you happened. Or she developed this habit where she understood generally that I was a night person that... But that Lex got up in the morning because she worked a 9 to 5 job. So she would, if it was getting too late, she would yell at Lex. She'd run up, down, up the stairs and then down the stairs and then sit there and look at her. And then just... <laughs> A little man syndrome. Alright. So, let's start going with this. Alright, how... Huh? a ridge line that might actually work oh you cunt really fine let's just do it this way more Get off of that please thank you <laughs> it nuggies <laughs> Click. Oh. No, it's fine, chat. Move you in so I can actually make stuff. I can actually see it better. That's one of the other things I like about this, uh, this streaming program is it's got 
an actual uh, chat bar overlay on screen, so I don't have to always look over to my phone. Because I don't have a second screen. That is my second screen. It actually has a live, a modulation, a little bar to show me like how much the game or stream volume is, and then where my speaky volume is, view count, and then, yeah, chat shows up underneath it. So, really stoked about that. Kind of missed having that. Now, I know it's not going to look much like a cat at the moment. Bear with me here. Said, nope, I do not like that man. So that connects. Can I get you to connect? Cool. And then we'll throw another one of these in here. Did that connect right? Yeah, it did. Okay. It just looked weird. sleep just so I don't have to rely entirely on my headlight to try to build. <laughs> you should just play it in and be like, no, Cujo, down.
one. We're gonna get rid of that fucking safety in there. Thank you. It's probably part of the reason why you're being an asshole. Uh, this is the, uh, living room, living quarters treasury floor. With my, uh, decorative dragon egg up there. In my hot tub. Throne in map room. With a view that overlooks my little stead area. And that back entrance that comes around. A nice little wraparound area. Production floor. Smithing area. Nothing else there at the moment. Hello, Seagull. That was interesting. Peace. A decent amount of wood there, so we'll see. I should have enough. I think. to get the idea of the feats and stuff like that in there. Once I kind of round out the general loaf shape. Is it going to sit right? That may actually sit right. Shoulders, now possibly from there, go downward. Yep. Okay. This is going to be a little bit interesting to try to connect together. But. It is actually really good. You just gotta, like, wiggle with it a bit. Oh, 
But it gives you a lot of flexibility. Alright, now, how do I want to do the front? Slept for it, my back's a little crunchy. Uh... Would that work for kind of like a paw? Almost, it would. Grab his dick and twist it! Okay, so now I have to duplicate over here. Figure out how I fucking did that. Well, it's a 45. And a straight out angle that way. And then I did the 45 roof ridge. Connected to it. Connected to it. might work. I need one more in the front. Air and air! Fuck. Alright, we're gonna just build a second goddamn workbench up front. trouble there you did it work perfectly fine on the other side that angle wait a minute hang on that connected differently that's what happened that connected in a bit of a different way me to jump that high. <laughs> I kind of stung. Hello. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. I need to hit it from another angle. Come on, you let me do it on the other side. What did I do dip? What it's set differently there? Is the fact that it's <laughs> See, it's not that off though. That's too far. Okay, what, uh, what's off here? What it won't not letting me do? Yeah, that's going farther back. But I got it to really work at the other spot. Damn it! Because that really works for the leg bend. I didn't want to do it there. Just try up of that one, maybe? Uh, 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 hello? 
What is, what is, come on, what is doing? Yeah, or just have it be a somewhat different leg position. Hey, Pandora. Slightly twist. I want it that way. Figure out how this thing. True. Uh, not too bad. Getting the uh, rest of it up is going pretty well here. Helping. Try to get the back legs in. Pause in there and then curl the tail around and then figure out what I'm doing for the head. Uh, can I click that? I was gonna say, I might click that for tail here. For support, you might get in there. Start going from that. Mm, I want the, I want the extra want to go down though. That does make sense. All right, trying to figure out how to get this to sit. Ah, get up there. gonna sit a little above but to block out the tail Sit you a little farther in. Can I get you to sit a little farther in? All right. Well, I guess we'll uh. Let's 
Click off of that. Come on. Find it. Find it. Thank you. No, oh, that's not clicking the right spot. Where are you? I gotta find the actual little seam I want here. Must find the seam! Set it that way, will it look better? Or that way? That way kind of rounds it out a little bit better. <sighs> Shit. Need more wood! Sides? I get those to sit in and like fill nicely. Doesn't look right. No, definitely gotta be 45. Just get to tuck you in the right spot here. Let me just find the right connector there. Yes, it's got rough edges. That's fine. That one's gonna bug me. That actually might kind of sit nicely. If I can get it too. And... Oh, nice. Uh, clicky? Come on. No, I don't want that side. I want the fucking stem to be on it. Why are you being weird about that? Why are you trying to connect that part? Yeah, weirdo. What are you doing? That's the part that makes sense. Click. Yeah, that. Nope. Okay, we're gonna drop that off. That's just gonna be a little bit of a weird narrow section there then. But that's fine. It gives the idea. I don't need you anymore. I can take that back. No, oh, I remember the table. Okay, so I gotta do back feats. And I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do in the head. That's going to need to move because that's going to be in the way where the foot's going to go. What's up on Wednesday? Actually, you need a tidbit more. That's got to go, that should go all the way out there. Nice. Actually, we're going to do that too, so kind of like the tail droops.
Uh, I had to push any tattoo plans back for a little bit. It's not, uh, it's not cheap to put a kitty down. I think that'll actually work for it. go this route. Is that gonna... No, nah, I'm gonna want to go 45, I think. Yep. Click it out from up there, just to give kind of like, you know, the appearance of the upper leg. Ish, ish. Should work well enough, I guess. Um. Actually, what about going? 26. <laughs> yep, 26 actually fits really nicely. Alright, I'm going to do a sleepy sleep because nighttime, it's easier to see. I mean, I'm pretty sure we all have things that we look back on and go, What the fuck was I thinking? Get loaf. Kind of just splat. <laughs> I, uh... I, 
Uh, no, I don't think I remember that, but... Man, fuck that shit. Couldn't have an earring in my ass. Fuck yourselves. <laughs> Stupid as shit. What even was their fucking reasoning? Not like there would be anything that'd be close to viable. Started with a forty-five. Actually, I started back here. Ow. But uh, it's about there. Okay. You didn't actually have to start with these. And those were, I think, actually 45s. Yep. No, not the right one. This is where I put this off of for the paw. Pretty sexist bullshit. <laughs> Do it. There to get the right angle. Bruh! Come on. Come on. Thank you. And then. It was just 226 is off of there. If I can get it to click. Was it 226 is over there? Because that's uh, not clicking. Did I miss piece? Eh, get me up there. That's sitting weird. Sitting in the wrong spot. I gotta get to sit a little farther out. Not that far out. Mildly different dimensions. <laughs> it's not your kid. Shut the fuck up. Imagine that. <laughs> it's not your kid, so shit the fuck up. Imagine that. <laughs> I 
Hello, Tumo. What's up? How you doing? Ah, shit. Need more wood. Uh, okay, well, I'm going to have to go farming for a little bit of wood here. Yeah, and it has been a while. It's nice to see you. Thanks for coming in. The uh, memorial monument's almost complete here. Just closing off the front of the chest area, and then i got to figure out what the fuck I'm going to do for the head. But, uh, for pretty good. I'm glad to be back to streaming, for sure. I'd say for working with what uh, what I can do with Valheim, with not not that it's a thing, as I love the building in this, but I'm trying to make a cat. I'd say that's, that's a pretty good approximation of a cat. So, into the forest we go. Time to harvest some wood. I gotta drop off this iron too. Actually, no. I need to hold on to that because I'm going to be doing more stone work. Uh, let me just fucking... I'm gonna chuck you here and you here and you there. So I've got some... Uh, weight. Weight count. But I've been alright. I uh, was a little sick going into Christmas there. It's stream shit died, so it's kind of why I went on the hiatus, then a little bit of stressy, depressy, bad mental space, uh, which I recently came back from, and then just kind of coming back from that, I had to put one of my kitties down last night, hence why we're doing the memorial statue. But uh, this is uh, Welcome to Oddheim, my build-focused realm with zero progress. Where the point is, it's not progress, it's about build, so we leave it, haven't even killed Ike here, to leave it on the simplest raid so we don't worry about anything fucking up your builds, because Boar and Neck are really not going to fuck up your builds, and, oh yeah, free meat. I appreciate it, and hoping so too. I do have the four others, and they're all... They're all kind of working through their grief in their own way. They've slowly started to realize. Uh, yes. If you start doing... Once you start killing uh, bosses, that they're, you'll get raids on your base every once in a while. There's like a, every 40 minutes, I think. Every half hour, 40 minutes. If you're at your base area, there's a chance for a raid to happen. The further in boss progression you are, the tougher the enemies that are going to come with that are. It unlocks different tiers. And with the last couple bosses, once you kill them, uh, it lo it unlocks the enemies from their biome to spawn in any biome at night. So when you kill Yaglith, the plains boss, Fuelings, which are annoying little goblin fuckers that are surprisingly tough, uh, will spawn in any biome at night after you kill him. Once you kill the queen, there are these little bugs. I forget exactly what they're called. They're not as tough as Fuelings, but they still hurt. Um, that will, that are from her area that will spawn at night now. And those ones specifically, I don't think they spawn anywhere else, is those are ones she drops. Yeah, they're like fucking glowy fleas, and I'm pretty sure they don't spawn anywhere else, because I haven't seen them in any of my misland shit. She drops those in the fight with her, she'll spawn them at you. But then, once you kill her... Motor? Uh, when, you're, when you've killed Bowmass and you haven't killed Motor yet, that unlocks getting Drakes and Sertlings as raids. Oh, um... Do you mean they would be the Queen, probably? Uh, you would just get Gyal, which are the big fucking fiery spitting bloat sack things that kind of look like Netch from uh, Solstheim in Skyrim. And um, 
And I think she sends in the Seekers, too. The big... Her fucking big bad Beetleborgs. Not these nets. These ones are assholes. They sound like low flying aircraft and they spit fucking lava at you. Hey, Lail. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. It sounds like a fucking low flying aircraft. I thought it was the fucking Seekers at first because they're kind of like wasps, right? Uh, no, it's the fucking big old bloaty bitch go coming in like he's a, a goddamn bomber. They're assholes. You don't see shit. Ha! Oh, fuck! Mirror you! Eh. Fuck. Oh, I appreciate it. Sorry, I've been, uh... In the building and stuff. Oh, hello, Piggy. Wampus. Getting close to uh, finishing. Yeah, go. It's just it it reminded. I was trying to remember what they fucking reminded me of when the first when I first saw them. It was like they remind me of something, and it was like it's the fucking Netch from Soulstime. They're like a bigger, angrier version of that. They kind of look like a cross. They remind me of a cross between the Netch. And those weird fucking alien brain things from Duke Nukem 3D. But yeah, they fucking spit lava at you, and they sound like incoming fucking fighter planes from World War II. And don't even get me started on that I was going for. Here, I'm gonna hit some fir trees to see if I can get some access for that. Yeah, you just fucking evil ass netch. Nets are kind of adorable, yeah. You know, protect them. Fuck these guys. Ah, oh, but cool! <laughs> Actually, next week, instead of doing the, uh, an episode in Autheim, especially since, you know, it was the emergency thing, we jumped over and have an extra couple episodes for it this week, uh, I'm going to get the Skyrim Endless content started for Thor's Day. Yeah, I thought so. And I know they had to patch that a couple times because it was just demolishing people's builds instantaneously. And like I, if you, even if you look, if you load up the game and look in the little patch notes on the side, there are two separate ones where they patch the Mistlands creatures and the Mistlands raid. Yeah, nice fifty-hour build. <laughs> Y'all, oh, Riri! I want to see the uh, return of the post post apocalyptic panic princess. I knew what you meant. I was enjoying watching you panic your way through Fallout 4. Also, speaking of which, I'm going to be starting that as an expanded, kind of endless 
addition to FPS Friday content, so it's not just reliant on there being Quake stuff for that. Uh, it's going to be Fallout Friday. Every that will be like a bi-weekly thing. I've got a couple expansions and additions and things that I'm looking in, looking at working in. Um, is there a fucking, let there be a goddamn fur cone, man. Oh, hiccups, we're, hiccups. Good morning. <laughs> Basically what I'm doing here. If I have to explain to anybody what Valheim is, it, it's basically like Skyrim meets Minecraft. Oh, well, that is always helpful. Less needed specifically for Oddheim here because, like we're, I said, we're not going for aggressive progression. Later on, we may end up needing it more for, you know, going out into some of the more dangerous biomes. But the whole point is just slow roll, build up on the island, build everything, build everything. Uh, you can turn on the dev codes to be able to just spawn it for yourself, but that takes half the fun out of it. You can. You can turn on uh, dev stuff to like just give yourself resources or make yourself invincible or whatever, but it takes half the fun of it. Ah, uh, random stone marker I don't need anymore. Yeah, they've got they've got console commands for that. Oh, they've already... Tumor. Go check the Valheim page. On Steam. They've already leaked stuff about the next zone. It's at the bottom of the world. It's Ashlands. And then up far up north, there is Deep North. We found that. Uh, fucking around on the map the one time. And then the seas themselves are supposed to actually be expanded into a biome. They've already leaked some stuff about Ashland, some enemy designs, some uh, weapons designs. I'm finally going to be able to have my fucking Berserker dual axes. Finally! I don't know if it showed. There, I'll move up a little bit so it reads easier. <laughs> or, even better yet, we'll do it this way. Real quick. Dear Taxi! Come here! Come here! Damn it, friend, do I want to use it as a taxi? I did it in the stream earlier. I've been able to do it with. I've surfed almost every mob in the game. 
I've done it with Drakes. It's scary with Drakes. <laughs> it's fun, but scary because you're like, oh shit. He's banking out over the. Yeah, if I fuck this up, I'm dead. Not so much now with Mistland stuff because there's a cloak you can get out of Mistlands that completely negates that. Might actually go show that off. <laughs> oh! There we go. Oh no, I fell off him. Come on. And then I lifted that one. Da da da! Deer taxi! Thank you. I did it too, and I like that they added like more depth. To, like I enjoyed the fishing system, but it was it was great. I enjoyed. I would just like to just have fun, just going out and just sitting there and fishing. But I like that they added more depth to the fish that were already there. That you now have them in different sizes. You can mount the trophy catches. They're worth you know, obviously the bigger ones are worth more f food, and then getting more fish types and having to actually like get more into play it like actually fishing. You know, get the different types of bait. Look for the different areas. Look for like, look for them jumping or sub or spawn up. Like, okay, that's a good spot. There's a bunch from there. I see a bunch. Or even just like looking for good little likely spots of like, okay, this is a nice little bay here. It's got some good cover, some good rocks. This is probably a good spot. All right, so I've got the weird. Gonna do a sleep. Although I do like when they went back in again. I did see you playing that uh, in Discord. Like Discord would told me you were playing it. The little bit the last couple of weeks. Fuck you, Larry. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that's it. Make it even more immersive. And now, yeah, like, that's how immersive I got because I'm such a fucking nerd. I'm basically creating a D and D realm in Valheim. I, all the different terrains, different areas, fucking road signs, paved roads to it. What's up, fuckface? Pretty much all the roads all the way through right now are paved. I've just got to, like, the road connects all the way up over here up to the quarry, which we're slowly working on. I've just got to finish paving it all the way over to that and then pave into the quarry a little bit. And over here, this part of the forest we haven't really touched yet, and then I'm slowly working in development stuff here. Mostly right now, kind of concentrating up on this area. Like, I'm building up the fur fields, which is an area of meadow that I took the cultivator and slapped out a bunch of dark loamy soils patches, and then in the dark loamy soil and planting fir trees to create a different biome. You might have noticed out there, uh, there's a mix of, like, firs and pines coming out, and then I've pushed some of the birches and other things, basically mixed forest and uh, meadow trees in together to create an interesting diverse biome for the Yarlswood. Uh, here in the Red Meadows is I've basically going to flatten out, take out all the grass, so it's just kind of dirt land, and then drop it a little bit, like as a lowlands. Yeah. 
Uh, fucking Skeeters. Such assholes. I hate, like, they're annoying to begin with, but I hate when the game decides to be just extra douchey and fucking spawn it up your ass. You, like, literally just spend a minute going, okay, there's nothing, and then take a step, and then suddenly you're like, WHERE THE FUCK?! Alright, I've got enough, I've got a decent amount of stuff in there, so let's, uh... <laughs> yeah, he's motherfucking <laughs> Thunder! Go plop the other stuff over on the other side. Get it out of my inventory. Actually, I'm gonna go grab some honey real quick too, so I can make the thing. And here I will. You'll get to see another uh, part of the build. Yeah. And tumor, because you haven't seen this one yet. Another part of Yarl's Island, and headed into the Yarl's Wood now. Hello! Aw, I tried. He moved. She moved. Sorry. That's a doe. Fuck you, forest child. Now use your lifeblood to illuminate my settlements. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Thank you. Bumblewood Farms. Alright, welcome everyone. Bumblebee Tuna. To Bumblewood Farms. It's raining, so you're not getting the full effect because the bees are asleep. But yes, the bees are happy. When it's, like, sunny outside, you can be probably about 50 feet away from this, 100 feet away from this, walking, running through the forest, you can hear it. Because there's just so, I've got so many bees in here, you just hear... Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, here's the thing you can throw in the face of any vegan who yells at you for beekeeping. Only happy bees make honey. If they're not happy, if they're not, you know, being treated properly, if they're not product, like, actually okay, they're not going to produce honey.
So yeah. Now we're out in the day, you get kind of the full effect. All the buzzing. Like here, I'll run off over here. I can, I can still hear it. Following this road all the way up. Come on then. I'm not actually good with dad jokes. I know, I'm a dad and I'm not good with dad jokes. But... Hi, Hungry, I'm dead. Did mark that correctly, yes. Okay. I really appreciate all of you being here, by the way. I haven't said it enough, and I hope your Friday's going well. Happy Friday. <laughs> I lied to me! <laughs> all right. So I will show you uh, the fur fields in progress here. I'm slowly working at gathering enough furs to fill up all the loamy soil. But that's kind of the effect we're going for. Yep, no problem. Like I said, my nerdy ass is basically building a fucking D&D realm in Valheim. This is what I started... Uh, building on the first episode for bringing Oddheim to uh, stream content. It's extremely pretty. Okay, I gotta put that back. That uh, sits weird. That 
still sits weird. All right, we're gonna double up. Cool. All right, you can go in there. show off a little bit of my other things because I don't know if you were here the other day so it's my uh, lumberjack characters area I use a lot of core wood in the dark wood stuff to put his uh, little area together it's a little minor personal lumber yard over there's the big lumber yard These guys I had fun with was something I figured out a little while ago. You do the armor stand and then jury rig up a little item stand above it and put a trophy on them. So you make a little weird character. <laughs> I've still got to create... Uh, make the actual weapons to go in here that have some purple glow to finish it off but this is just kind of an interesting little scenic area i've decided to make called purple grove and what's also interesting about this is it's going into the cusp of uh forest so there's gray dwarves most of the time the gray dwarves will attack shit you build they don't there they like it i've come by a lot of times and just seen a couple gray dwarves like just hanging out going Oh, this is cool. I, they, they don't attack it. They just hang out there. And it's really interesting. Yeah, because it's the only time I've seen them do that with something that you've built. Even if it's just, like... If I put up a stone pile or a wood pile, things that are more or less kind of organic, yes, they look like, you know, clearly a person's been there and done something with it, but it's organic. It's still stone and wood, something that's part of their, their forest, right? They smash it. But they like purple growth. Oh, hey, free meat raid. Pull arm time. This is what I bet chance of there being a raid. Come on, then. Larry! Come on then.
Lol. Lots of meat. Um, shit. I'm gonna need to go to actually dump stuff. Because I have too much stuff and cannot pick up the tar. Uh, that's gonna be the ouchy side. Do it from here. Whoop. I need to do a sleep for that to happen. A couple sleeps, technically. But, um, it's not close enough. What noise? I make many noises. It's kind of a thing I do. Oh, you... Fuck are you? Cook my meat. Son of a bitch. Push those fir trees along further. And then uh, we come back out to put some finishing touches on the Kitter statue. Which is good because it's getting about time where I'm going to have to bounce off, anyways. Kitter's going to be home from school soon, and we're going to need to do the cleanup and final prep for DD later. But mother, I don't want to go to school. I just want to stay home and bake cookies with you. Is it? 
Shortcut. I'll take those. Thank you for doing your job, Nightbot. I'm assuming some of my video view counts have been you uh, catching up on stuff. <laughs> Drop that resin over. Got a crunch, come on. I can feel it. Come on. Where is it? There it is. Got it, thank you. Boink. Sit there. Show off my other build place. Port Jurgen. On the realm of Jurgenheim. And back to Ardheim. I might have to puzzle out the head for a little bit because I'm going to have to do some shit with it. So that I might do off stream. But I'll try to settle up to get at least getting where the head's going to sit. Because I want to try to get a, a proper feeling of chunk shiny green eyes too. Let me 
click in there? Am I going to let me click that in there? Ah, whatever. No, that was 45. And that's not going to sit. Okay. Really gotta figure out how I wanna do this. It's not quite straight on, but good enough, I guess. Support this from under here, just so it's got support on it. Click. Thank you. Oh, you fucking piece of shit. Come on. Should have been fine. You're a dick. Occasionally, it's an ass like that, where it doesn't give you enough time. Support structure. Where? Come, come, come. Chill. I could actually get this to fucking connect with it. You spazzing, please. Bruh. Just sit. That one's sitting different. That'll probably actually be a better area. Spread it out. the eyes somewhere in there and then I'm gonna put ears up. Twenty six hmm. I'm not gonna sit right. This is definitely gonna be the part where it's gonna I'm gonna have to do the most fucking with it to try to get it to do what I want.
Because if I could sit them the right way, like those would point properly as ears. I just gotta figure out where I wanna drop them. If it'll connect the right way. And I want it to actually connect so that I can have them be on similar sides. Instead of like randomly stuck to something I wanted to actually snap. So they can be similar and not fucking all wonky. Her chance. Okay, I'm gonna fuck with it for a minute just to see how I can get that to possibly start. Doing something? Inside corner 26, perhaps? Hmm. Just trying to play with stuff for the moment. Get that to connect off in a nice way. That's up in that direction. A little bit too much. Just getting the idea. Might have to shorten that a little bit. Let's look at a little canine. About an inside corner forty five just to you know see how that's gonna sit. Makes that a little less floaty there. So I will will take that going in. Actually connect up there? Do you want to connect up there? Like, what are you doing? Get you to snag on one of these, please. Just roughly. Okay. Kind of getting the idea again. We're getting there.
Uh, that's not where I wanted to stick that. That's not the angle I wanted to stick that at. Shit. I think that is. Kind of just tucks us in a little bit more. Ah! Free! And indeed, that might be a little bit better. It's a work in progress here. Uh, the head's definitely going to be the trickiest part. It's going to be the trickiest part to get to try to fucking sit and read right. Ah! And out of tar. Luckily, I have some more. It's extremely rough right now. I'm trying to just shape it out. That, no, that fucks it up. That makes it weird. That, however, not so bad. It sits in a little bit better and kind of rounds out the kitty face. gonna have to seriously noodle the rest of the face coming together. I'm gonna have to sit on that one for a while. But most of the shrine's up. I got my shrine to my Oni. That's what part of what I'm trying to noodle out. And yeah, I'm thinking green fires. But I'm trying to, but I'm trying to sort of figure out how I want to build it up to put them in, set them in the right place, and still get the rest of the face to kind of read like a cat face. The head shape's coming along not too bad. It's a little janky, but it's kind of getting the idea of you know little the cat tufts in their cheeks and the ears.
So yeah, I'm gonna puzzle out finishing it off. And there will be more episodes of Adventures in Oddheim, so I will stop by and show the finished version of it with the face fully in there and everything. Well, thank you for joining me with, you know, the base construction, getting it set up. I do appreciate it, everybody. Hopefully, as always, the content's been stimulating and satisfying to your ears. It's the point why we come here and play these games. And even if you're just lurking a lurk, it's still a lurk. We're there before it. Make sure the fires are up here. Yeah, there's the with the iron torches you can have them burn regular resin, so it's just regular fire, but they burn at a slower rate than the right just re torches. You can have them burn great ore fires for the blue, or you can have them burn guck for the green. And we're going to finish off with dropping a couple things over, and then doing a sleep here, and then I'll look for somebody to raid. Do appreciate everybody coming out and hanging out, though. It means a lot. It does. Well, I'm waiting for that to log in. I'm going to go see who we have up. I think we're actually going to go over and uh, visit Owain the Gamer. He's having a farewell for the Marvel's Avengers because uh, they're shutting it down. Because it, uh... Well, we all know the story of that one, I'm pretty sure, right? It got mishandled to shit, unfortunately. Somehow, you mishandled the Avengers. Is it a sleepy? No, okay. It is not a sleepy. Come on! There we go back. Aside from the purposes of memorial, this kind of does give me a little bit of practice for some of the other things I did want to try doing as, excuse me, build stuff on Oddheim. I did want to try doing some weird, excuse me, interesting structures. But yeah, definitely having fun. I, uh, I'm going to be wrapping for now, though. I got most of the, most of the, the bodies all in. Got a lot of the head set up in, and then I've got to kind of actually sit for a while and puzzle out how the fuck I'm going to put together the face. So that's going to take a bit, but I will have more the whole uh, Valheim content block right now. Mightn't be introducing another one at some point, but uh, to run concurrently or back and forth with, but this whole one right now is just going to be about the uh, about the builds. But yeah, I've got to... I've got to sit there and fuck around with ideas on how I'm going to put the actual face together. But I will uh, I will show it off once it's done and have future episodes. Besides, it's getting about towards time where I've got to 
sign off. Kiddo's about to get home from school. We've got to do some little bit of housework and final prep for D&D. And then I'll be back later on tonight after D&D with FPS Friday. Um, finally getting into episode two of Turbo Overkill, which I've been fucking waiting on. Again, it was another one of those ones that, like, I've got a few of them that have been sitting in my library that I really, really, really wanted to play, but I had kind of promised myself that I was going to have them be, like, because some of the things are games that I've enjoyed for a long time, and I'm now, I'm just doing a stream feature on them and bringing them through. If, like, somehow people haven't seen them or haven't heard of them, well, here you go. I'm doing a playthrough. Um, other ones are games that I was interested in, and I bought, but I wanted the initial experience to be on stream with. So they've been sitting in my library going, you know, you want to play me? Like, I fucking do. But I promised myself I'd do it here on stream. And so we got to get through some of the content shit in the slots to pop them up. So look for more things. And like I said, I'm going on expanding and bringing out a couple of things uh, after I get through Death Store and... Oh, thank you for the biddies, Tuber. Thank you. And uh, I appreciate it. The, um, hang on, hang on, please hold, finding my train of thought. Gotcha. The, wait, nope. I lost it. Fuck. <laughs> Slippery fish. Um, uh, oh, that I've been just, I've got some other stuff, and after I finish, uh, I remember where I am. I remember where I am. After I finish... Uh, Wild Card Wednesday's current feature playthrough of Death Store, and then the cleanup on uh, Little Nightmares, because I started that for Halloween and then sort of drifted off on it. And then we had the hiatus, and yeah, so I gotta finish that up. And then Wild Card's gonna have a bi weekly kind of switch off into two sub genre themes for fun and expansion of grabbing more shit in my library that I wanted to bring into content. There's gonna be uh, Wheelman Wednesdays, which is a uh, different crew, the crew content, hopefully social as well, but. Vroom vroom. And then also, Western Wednesdays, which if you didn't catch it before, is the return of the ridiculous cowboy cleft. I put on a cowboy hat and a ridiculous dipshit accent and just have fun with it. Theo, oh, thank you! And yeah, yeehaw. It's, uh... It started with, I was playing, um, I was just trying to have fun with playing, and I wanted to, like, let some more... Some people might look at it as, like, I'm trying to put on a show, and in a way, yes, but I'm not doing it to put on a show, it's just I'm kind of relaxing a little bit more, and letting sort of more of myself come out into my content and be less restrictive of, like, well, I feel like this is what I have to present as my, you know, this game content stream. Um, and I, was, I had fun with uh, Call of War as Gunslinger, and just did that, and it was like, even though I didn't really enjoy the game that much, and I didn't get too far into it because it was kind of busted, in the back of my mind, I was like, you know what? Let's bookmark that idea. We're going to have more fun with that, so I kind of wishlisted a couple other Western-themed games. The wife bought me the one I actually wanted the most, and uh, we're going to get that started soon, so look forward to the return of Ridiculous Cowboy Class on Wednesdays soon. Thursdays, of course, Thursdays, uh... That's where this usually sits, the uh, the Valheim content block. But next week, because we had a heavy Valheim this week, I am going to start the Skyrim endless content for it, and we'll also be getting back to uh, feature stuff, which going to get uh, Vikings, Wolf, and Midgard started up again. I have no fucking idea how long the game is. Uh, yeah, I've been wanting to kind of roll in some Skyrim shit for a little while. Uh, FPS Fridays is also going to have a kind of endless thing rolling on where I'm going to get into Fallout Fridays as like a probably a bi-weekly feature, a couple down the line of actual FPS Fridays features, and then as I run a little bit thinner on those, I'm going to start supplementing basically with the endless of Fallout and have more stuff to do. But I've got quite a few uh, in line for that because FPS games and RPG games are kind of my main. Anywho, uh, tomorrow's Subnautica Saturday. We'll have some more Subnautica. And Sunday is Sundays in Space. That'll be episode three of the restart of Mass Effect Legendary Edition. The kind of the whole reason why I made Sundays in Space is a thing in the first place. Is I enjoyed other space games. Like I've done Dead Space 1, Dead Space 2. I love the first fucking Dead Space. It's amazing. <laughs> you can't. Yeah, Reaper Knife Fight uh, in Subnautica. I'll do it tomorrow. I'll try to make sure... 
I'll ping Mal and let him, let him know I'm going to do it. Um, so we've got that. Monday is Medieval Monday. That will be the absolute final episode for Regions of Ruin in Season, t uh, season 2 of Medieval, Medieval Monday. Because uh, I don't think there's there's like just the one swamp left for me to do and there's a keep on there with a objective mark but it doesn't actually give me any quest text so i think that's where the goblin king i've been hearing about all the game is which is supposed to be the big bad and i've done pretty much everything else on the side quest so i think that's about done uh i do have some other things to lean into the next seasons of medieval monday but i think after this upcoming monday the next monday after that i will take the monday off just because putting out content every day uh does get a little tiring not that I don't enjoy it and I have fun with it, but there's some days where it's just like, oh. <laughs> um, especially coming back out of a little bit of a mental funk. You gotta get back into my groove here. Tuesday's turning back Tuesday. That will actually be, because I didn't get to it this week, um, some Banjo 2E progress. Uh, getting some stuff done in Cloud Cuckoo Land because we're getting close to the end of that, and I've got some more features waiting in the back the back wings for uh, Turning Back Tuesday, and I uh, talked about Wednesday, so we've kind of done a full circle. That's enough of me babbling. Let me double-check. Owen's still hanging out. Didn't just, you know, be done. Cool. Just wanted to make sure. So, I'm going to need everybody to grab your axes and shields, spears, longbows, arrows, whatever you need. We're going to pile in a longboat, and we're going on a raid. I'm going to say bye to Earth's greatest, mightiest heroes, the Avengers, with Owain the Gamer. Raid created? Come on, everybody, gather your shit! You gotta give the Avengers the proper send-off, man, come on! Alright, in the longboat, in the longboat, in the longboat! We're going on a raid!